and welcome to Northern Community Primary School. My name's Rachel Bentham and I'm the head teacher here. We're producing this video today as we can't do our usual open evenings to show you around our fantastic school. During these COVID times, we need certain measures in place. So this video is for prospective parents of nursery and reception children or anyone who would like to watch. Our school offers the benefits of a large school as we have 425 children on roll. This means we have a large building, lots of facilities and lots of grounds. This means your child will get lots of opportunities that they may not get elsewhere. However, we also have the benefit of breaking our school down into smaller units which means we have the family feel that you may get from a smaller school. We feel Norden is the place to be for your child. Our motto is being the best we can be and we firmly believe that this is what we can do for your child. The staff are the best they can be and will bring out the best in your children. I firmly believe that a school is not just the building, it is the people within it and one of our biggest strengths is the relationships between staff and children. Your child will be cared for during their time with us and their academic achievement will be second to their safety and happiness. Okay, let's go on a tour around school. Okay, so this is the start of our tour. This is the dining area. We're going to go down and um, have a look at the youngest children in school first. our nursery classroom so your children may choose to come to our nursery and um, children come from various uh, child minders and different providers but we ensure that while they're in nursery and um, we concentrate on friendships and social skills and a lot of learning through play this is their classroom there's a lot of outdoor provision um, a big part of the early years curriculum is to be outside with knowledge and understanding of the world and physical development. Next we'll go into our reception classes. This is where we have two classes per year group. Class one, where Miss Powers, the class teacher. There's a combination of teacher talk groups and independent learning in reception, as you can see. You want to collect some as well. See if you can count them as you do them. This is class two, as you can see, both classes work together as a unit. This is Mrs. Barrett, class two, class teacher, with our budding artists. <laughs> okay, let's go and have a look outside. We'll go to year one. Again, we've got two classes, Mr. Craig, who's not in today, and Mrs. Whelan. Good morning, Miss. Okay, next we'll go to Mrs. Whelan's class. Oh 
my goodness. I bet you don't know what 200 add 200 is. 400. <gasps> I'll show you some of our facilities as we go across to the other side of school for year two. Okay, so let's have a look at some of our facilities. Um, Norden is an old middle school, so we do have more facilities than a lot of primary schools. This is the large hall that we would normally use for assemblies and PE lessons. We're lucky enough to have changing rooms and a lot of storage space. Um, we also have trampolines which is something that the children uh, have an opportunity to try further up the school and as an after school club. Um, usually this is something that children can't access until they're at high school so the children really do enjoy that experience. We're also lucky enough to have Norden's local library on site, which the children have access to. They um, go into the library once a week and can choose a book and keep it in class for that week. We also have a small community hall as we do rent out space to community groups. We have about 15 groups who use our school building ranging from table tennis to pilates to slimming world, lots of different groups that we can support in the community. So now we're heading down the main corridor where the offices are and over to the other side of school where we've got Year 2 and Key Stage 2. As you can see we've got a lot of trophies at school, Norden is known to be um, a sporty school um, and what we've done in the last couple of years is um, tried to ensure that everybody's involved in sports festivals rather than just our elite sports people going to competitions so we're working hard to make sure our children are physically and mentally active at school. Okay so this Corridor splits in two, we have the community aspect of school down here and year two upwards, so we'll go down to year two. On this landing we've got year two, year three and year four. Okay, so welcome to year two, this is Mrs Holland's classroom. Now we'll go into Mrs Dale's classroom. As you'll notice, year two are sat in formal rows at the moment and that's due to our COVID protective measures. Normally they'd be in groups and chatting more, but at the moment they need to be sitting in front facing rows, but hopefully we'll be able to get back to normal soon. We'll go down to year three. This is Miss Cutcliffe's classroom. And next door we have the other year three class, Mrs. Stevenson's.
finally on this landing we've got year four. This is Mr. Cayley's classroom. Finally, Mrs. Harrison's classroom. Stand up, so you know. The Britons were caught between Roman steel and a barricade of their own creation, a prison to wagons where their families had been watching, hoping to see a British victory. Okay, so now we'll go down to year five and six. This is one of our year five classes, Mrs. Hatton. the year five class with Mr. Britner. On this landing we've also got our IT suite. The children have laptops and iPads that they can use in their classroom but we also have the suite. Finally, we've got Year 6, this is Miss Slay's class. Our last year six class, Mrs. White. On this landing, we've also got our radio station where we can, um, we can record and um, set out our programmes to go around school at lunchtime. Right, so now we'll go and have a look at the community space that we have in school that the children can use but we also rent out to different groups. This is our craft room and this morning we've got pottery class in. We also have our cookery room. The children can come in here as part of their topic work and we also have an after school cookery club. Um, we also have an Italian club that um, use this room quite often as well. We also have a children's centre attached to the school where children um, below school age can come so they do weigh and play um, and toddler groups and this brings us back onto the main corridor i hope you can see from our video what a fantastic place norden is and i am sorry that you haven't got the opportunity to come and experience that for yourself if you have any questions or queries please do not hesitate to phone me or email me and i will try and answer all your questions Thank you for your time watching our video and please take care. Thank you.